So, how was your first day? Great. You were fantastic. We were just sitting there watching, right? So tomorrow we're going to start work. <laughs> Today's episode. How do you do, into my brother? Welcome to Stories of My Life. So today, Thursday, we're having a sort of a little get together. So this, this, it's the third week of rehearsal. So it's good to get a little get together, some nibbly things and wine. I think after rehearsals today, and I'm also meeting my new co-worker. Christian will be splitting his time with someone called Felicia. I never met her. I'm going to meet her. And also they continue the run through. So I'm just going to sit in the auditorium taking notes and thinking, oh, that's a quick change. Oh, that's not a quick change. Oh, that's left. That's right. OK, mm -hmm. we need shoes. Well, the man on the bike, on the upper the bike lane, if you can see him now, he used to be one of the most beautiful people i ever seen. Well, maybe not just beautiful. I wanted to be him. I wanted to look like him. He was tall and dark and God damn it, as he grew older, still got his hair. Yeah, and I'm not talking about that person. I'm talking about the guy who disappeared out there. I'm not going to tell you his name because you will just tell him and then he'll be stuck up. By the way, that second man who was, by the way, that second man who was not, you know, the man I was talking about turned out to be a woman. I just passed her. Anyway, the first man I was talking about, he has that, he had some things like, you know, Sebastian, Sebastian Flight, if you um, know your brides had visited. Something like that, without being sort of provocative and ostentatious. Yeah, sort of like, kissed by the sun. By the way, 1st of September, definitely autumn, wearing layers upon layers upon layers. And that beautiful man complimented me on the way I dressed. But I mean, what can he do? He's got eyes, right? So I'm backstage. Today we rehearsed in the Renaissance dresses. Well, they did. I did not rehearse in them. Look, there's a bridge over there. Can you see? It's coming down. We are back after lunch. She's still here, but now Mugla's here as well. Say hey, Moa. Hello. Knock knock. Who's there? Banana. Banana who? Knock knock. Who's there? Banana. Banana who? Knock knock. Who's there? Orange. Orange who? Orange you glad I didn't say banana? Yes.
How was your first day? Great. You were fantastic. We were just sitting there watching, right? So tomorrow we're going to start work. People today, it's spring macca. Yes, sandwich on the run. Run, run like a wind. Like, run like you have wind. So people, this is for the vegan. Lovely. I won't eat dinner tonight. Horse meat. Horse meat. Horse face. Eat in English. Butterfly powder. Butterfly powder. Something you can create your own cocktails with. Yes. Or color. It's, it's a blue uh, flower that they made a powder of. Yeah. And you can make uh, these beautiful drinks that shift their colors if you put lemon in it. So. I would I think definitely buy that. Yeah. Are you bought it at Lilly Holmes Gallery? Yeah. Ica. Oh, good. Of these three people, this guy just got hired. He's going to be with us in this production till the bitter end. People, everyone's left. So far, it's just us. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> the old gang! Here we are. David is now showing the, one of the sound engineers how to do his pink curls. <laughs> <laughs> They're now speaking in Swedish. They're talking about a bathing cap. David is now talking about the privilege. What's so fantastic? He's talking about whiskey. Whiskey. They're discussing whiskey. We're talking about Greta Garbo and hooded eyes, and David is about to. These are hooded eyes. How did you do that? <laughs> it's clay. I oh don't my, really look like this. That, clay. That, it's clay. It's clay. Look. It's gone. He's fascinating. I look like Greta Garbo. So now we're talking about someone who's looking like a Greta Garbo. A Swede. A Swede. And with... You need a little more eyeliner, maybe. <laughs> David <laughs> is now showing <laughs> the famous scene <laughs> from Greta Garbo. <laughs> <laughs> David is googling Greta Garbo and I am just googling the butterfly pea flower because uh. pea. People, the party is over. David is. Uh... The party is over. It's time to go away. <laughs> He's a seamstress. Say goodbye. Say goodbye. Say goodbye. God damn it. It's almost 10 o'clock and it's time to go home. David went uh, to the some sort of hotel where he knew there was a party. I said, I need to go home. I need my beauty sleep. And then realised, I don't. I mean, how long can you sleep? This sort of, you don't fix this by sleeping. Anyway, I want to go home. I need to upload some YouTube videos and edit some films. Oh my God, I really should have gone home hours and hours ago. But then I had such a lovely time. I've been eating a lot of food. Yes, my diet, mm, going great. If great, I mean bad. Yes, nothing's really happening. I think I would, you know, just lose weight by thinking about it, but I don't. I really don't. So I've been thinking about something while biking home. It's when someone says, that girl looks like Greta Garbo, I should be mean and say, well, not really. I should say, yes, yes, she does. She's beautiful. Because that's the kind thing to do, isn't it? Not being sort of all, mm, well, because mm, that doesn't make anyone happy. From David or if he's just forgotten it, um, I'm going to show you how I look. So, yeah, I look sort of bruised, don't I? Yeah. I'm going to ask. Thank you for watching and for liking, commenting, subscribing and following. It really helps and uh, something to do with the internet and the algorithm, I think. So thank you so much.